Poor monkey. Here comes Mr. Grumpy. I'm not grumpy. I'm a happy camper. Oh, nice. Ooh, get that one cleaned up. It looks like that Cheshire stuff again. So if it is, we're talking 13th, 14th century. Mm. Ooh. I'll definitely need to get that cleaned up, but I have acquired... You've got to interpret the noises with Paul. It's like, oh, that's quite good news. I think that's the Cheshire stuff again. Cheshire... Uh, Ashton, it's a kiln just north of Chester, about 5k short, uh, right. 5, 10k. So that stuff no. made in England, what do you think it was? Bro over, over here. here. You get a lot of that on the, in the east coast of Ireland, especially in the early days. The only trouble is the kiln was dug in the 1930s, so oh. the dating on it is 13th, 14th century. And that's it, got that nice sandwichy, which is... Yeah, well, that's just the firing. very efficient kiln. No, no, it's no? not. It's all to do with the... Hang on a sec, Rax. It's all to do with the oxygen supply to the kiln. Have you got some more? Oh, get in. <laughs> oh, it's the same sort of thing. Might even be the same part, actually. So what causes that sandwich effect? It's oxygen flow in the kiln. Um, if you get a high oxygen environment, essentially you get red pottery. If you get a low oxygen environment, you get grey pottery. So either they've shut, they've shut the kiln down uh, for most of the firing, then opened it up towards the end to give it a stoke, or they've done two firings, one for the pot, one for the glaze, and it's the reduction in the kiln and the glaze in it, so you get penetration of the oxygen into the fabric. And that's it's iron. a thin body. Yeah, it's all down to the iron. I mean, yeah. the red you can see is basically rust, effectively, yes. whereas grey is black iron oxide, which is low oxygen. Yeah, that's the same and sort of pot. you can see on the other side of that, you can see a... Uh, it's finger groove. That's where the, the pot has actually thrown it. You can see, you can see the fingers. They've done that deliberately. It's probably the shoulders. You quite often get it on the shoulders. Well, it's just again a little decorative thing. But that's actually decoration. They've actually scratched decoration into it, which is quite typical of the Chester, the Cheshire kill. Again, we've had to date it 13th, 14th, simply because. It looks 13th, 14th. The kiln was dug in the 1930s. It was originally dated to the 14th century because they had a grant allowing someone who lived in the village where these were made to feed their pigs in Delamere Forest, you know, which is not exactly so what, what, what you want. What happens there is that, that uh, oh, we, look, we, it we joins, it joins. Raksha. It joins. Yes. There you go. Brilliant.